This video will show you how to add a device, assign it to an access level, and synchronize the device in ZK Access. First, open ZK Access as an administrator. Go to the Device tab. Click Add. The bottom left-hand corner should say Wizard Mode. If instead it says Professional Mode, click Professional Mode. Name the device. Beside Device Type, open the drop-down menu and select Standalone Device. Enter the IP address of the device. By default, it will be 192.168.1.201. Click OK. Click OK. Once the process is finished, the window will close and you will see your device listed. Next, you will need to create an access level. Note that you cannot create an access level until you have added a device. To create an access level, first go to the Access Control tab. You should see your door appear here with this icon. Next, click on Access Levels. Click Add. Name your access level. In the drop-down beside Access Control Time Zone, select 24-hour accessible. Under Unauthorized Doors, select your device and click the button with the single arrow pointing to the right. If you would like to add any existing personnel to this access level, under Unauthorized Personnels, select them and click the button with the single arrow pointing to the right. Click OK. After the process is finished, the windows will close and you will see your access level listed. Once you have successfully added an access level, you will also see a window in the bottom left corner. In that window, click Sync Now. Once the progress and total progress bars have reached 100%, click Cancel. You now need to configure the device so that it will open when a user presents a card or ID and passcode. To do this, go to Door Settings. Select your device and click Edit. Beside Door Sensor Type, in the drop-down menu, select Normal Closed. If you would like to restrict the types of authentication that can open the device, beside Verify Mode, select an option from the drop-down menu. To change the time to get into this safe after you have already opened it, change the number beside Lock Open Duration. The number here is multiplied by 10 seconds. To change the time before the alarm goes off, change the number beside External Alarm Delay. Click OK. The Sync Notice will pop up again in the bottom left corner. Click Sync Now. Once the progress and total progress bars have reached 100%, click Cancel. If you need to sync your device again because you've added new information, go to the Device tab. Select the devices you want to sync. Click Sync All Data to Device. Click Synchronize. Once the progress and total progress bars have reached 100%, click Cancel. For more help, visit medicsafe.bioconnect.com and check out our other videos.